Hello YouTube world, this is Alex the Gaming Teacher, and welcome back to the walkthrough of Kingdom Hearts Chicken of Memories. As you're watching this video, please give it a like, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So last episode we uh, basically finished Destiny Islands, and I was looking over my deck, and I noticed a big issue, a big big one. We're gonna have to fix this up here. So notice we're gonna go into a couple boss fights, you know, because I know that. Um, they, you know, that you slate, so that's why I have these yellow cards. However, this shadow card here, if I end up playing it, notice that means these zeros will become a one, and therefore they're basically like puke. So it's not gonna be worth it to have the shadow. Uh, it's worth it, of course, when you fight the Heartless, but for these boss fights, I think we have to remove it. Therefore, it's going to open up space for another card, and I'm thinking, well, now I can have six fires. So I think we'll just do that. So you could just have two Firagas back to back. And yeah, so we'll just stick that in there. Uh, because those zero cards are essential. Now, do I even have any other zero cards? Yeah, I mean, you do have for Thunder, but again, the thing with zero cards, it's best to just have something that, you know, the whatever it is, if it's attack or whatever, happens super quick, because if it's something that's super long, such as Genie, Simba, whatever, the enemy could just then come back and attack you. They're usually gonna break that zero card. All right, well anyways, we'll see how this goes. So first, I believe it's Riku. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to use Captain Hook's card the whole fight then. All right, no turning back. Nominee! It isn't you. The person most special to me, it's not you, right? No. The girl you really care about. The one who was always with you. It's not me. It's her. But then, who... who is she? Because I can't think of her name. If she's so special to me, then why can't I remember? Because... I went into your memories and- Let me explain this! Huh? Plain and simple. Your memory is a train wreck. You're not the one who's meant to protect Naminé. It's supposed to be me! But you and your messed up memories are always in the way! Sora! Ah. Alright, here we go. Week for the final time. Okay, you can see he's got that glow. So. Oh, gosh, he's got. No, this is not good. Power! Oh, boy. Get ready! Oh, I'm going there. Okay, wow. That was unexpected. Okay, then. So here's the thing now. I feel like Captain Hook's card did not work in that case. Uh, wow. We're going to probably definitely have to rely on slates now. This is going to be crazy. Okay, well... We'll just give it another go. Yeah, I'm a little speechless right now. Get 
Seems like I have to rely on slates. So, based on how the first attempt went, now I'm thinking, how is this next fight gonna be? I'd rather be ready for that. So, that actually comes right away, so we have to come back and heal. And for sure, save. But of course, most morally, just heal. Uh, we'll just take a quick look anyways. Actually, do I need to... Nah, I think we should keep the deck the way it is. I didn't even use Captain Hook in that time, so I don't even know. Not sure if Captain Hook really did me anything for that first attempt. Um, Just really quickly see though, what... Actually, I didn't even see what the dark side card does. Shoot, look at that, 99. Crazy. Copies the enemy card. Hmm. So one thing I noticed is that Riku used a card, Incrementer, which I think raised all his cards. And because of that, I knew he couldn't have played any zero. So therefore, pretty much all the slates I had was unstoppable. So that's what helped me out there. Oh, wait, what? I didn't even notice. Revives you automatically when your HP reaches zero. Well, then that's actually... A much better one that basically will guarantee you an extra life I don't think it restores all of your HP though but still that's something that you know keeps cards used and slates available nah but Vexen that's actually really worth it so I'm gonna have to look into that I'm gonna have to get rid of something here though Maybe I'll just be fire. Jeez. All right. Well, if I have to get rid of two, wait, hold on a second. I only have to get rid of twenty-two then. So, oh, perfect then. So it's just basically the one I just put right in an eight. Yeah, because the visor automatically. When your HP is so, that means you're assured an extra life. Alright, well, I wish I had that before. It's just Riku just kicked my butt that first time. Alright, well, we'll just go ahead and save it. Yeah, because it seems like those slates do so much damage, so that's why it's no point in just doing single attacks. Like, even the magic is like. Much better just doing it in slates. Alright, well, how much experience did that give me there? Oh gosh. <laughs> I almost feel like I should just. You know what? I think I'm going to. I gotta take this real seriously here. The issue is though, I don't know if there's. Mm hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, whatever, I'll just recreate another room then. Just 
take part in one battle here. Because if I'm that close to leveling up, then I might as well do it. And I'm not going to worry about Moogle points, though. Ah, oh, great. Oh, gosh. I don't have my Blizzard thing, though, so... This battle could take a while. Let's do individual. actually this way I can put back that fire At first I was thinking HP but yeah, no. the way I'm thinking is it'd be nice to have those six together so you have two Faragas and I just keep in mind I have the Mega Ether so we'll maybe play like that then I should definitely do a bunch of slates Knowing I have the Mega Ether, and knowing I have multiple like clouds, multiple fires, even after the Mega Ether is used, there's still gonna be more Firakas afterwards. All right, I feel like in case I do die, I don't know if that's gonna even save that stuff. So always oh, important to save literally right before a fight. Alrighty, here we go. Oh. Wait, what? What if he actually... Yeah, I thought so. Riku! Want some more? Ah! Sora! Riku! Looks like I win. Riku! Stop! You are through! <laughs> I said stop! Riku? Riku? Riku! What did you do? What did you do to him? Broke his heart. I'd say more like she smashed it, really. Smashed? His heart? Then, what's gonna... what's gonna happen to Riku? <laughs> oh, you're so much fun to watch. If it's Riku you're worried about, then don't. Because Riku was never really here. What do you mean? Do you really think I'm just gonna say it? That's too easy. <laughs> oh, what to do? Quit the games! <laughs> uh. <sighs> All right. Have it your way then. I know it'll kill you to hear this, but I think I can live with that. That thing lying there is just a puppet that Vexen made as an experiment. No more than a toy. It's laughable, really. It called you a fake, but it was the fabrication all along. Not Riku. A fake? Fake in every possible way. It was only finished recently. How could it remember anything? You get it? Its memories with Namine were just planted, not real. Yep, that means all this time it's been picking fights with you over memories that were counterfeit, trumped up, and completely bogus. 
Isn't that the truth, Nomine? Oh, so cute. But behind this little face, you do awful things. <laughs> Nomine? You're so stupid. Don't you get it now? That's what Nomine's powers are about. She can enter, rearrange, and even create new memories of anything, even things that never happened. The girl you've been trying to protect all this time is really a manipulative witch who shackles people's hearts. Oh, then... my memories are all... Oh, you do get it. Lies, lies, all lies. Just Nomine's illusions, nothing more. Binding you in the chains of your own memory was central to our trap. It makes me tingle to think how easily you were duped. So close to it, we were almost there. This was our only chance to turn the Keyblade Master into our puppet, but that jerk Axel. He used Nominate to betray us. <laughs> So now, I'm left with no choice but to eliminate you. You'll pay. Don't! Huh? It's a little late for the witch to grow a conscience. Last time I checked, you're the one who fooled around with his memories creating this mess. I know, but... I should tell you that I'm in an extremely foul mood. Thanks to you, all our plans are ruined! <coughs> Nominee! What's this? Are you upset? <laughs> and you don't even actually know her. Maybe not. But still, I made a promise. What? A promise I made to Nomine to keep her safe. Maybe my memories are fake, but the promise is real to me. That's why I'll keep it. <laughs> You're such an idiot. There is no promise, and there never was. You're just delusional. Must you insist on playing the hero? <laughs> Whatever. If that's the way you want it, you're going down alone! <laughs> what if we get strapped here? Uh huh? Donald! Goofy! You found me! Of course we did! We were worried about you! And we promised! We promised that we would protect you! You won't ever be alone. It's always been the three of us, and we stick together. And that is how it's going to stay! Okay. Have it your way. More pain for you means more fun for me! Yeah. <laughs> 
needed the Vexen card as well, but Dark Scene is history. No. No. I refuse to lose. To such a bunch of losers. I think I'm I'm fainting? No, this isn't the way I I, I won't allow. Must be nominate. It's good to meet you. We're friends of Sora's, and my name is. You're Goofy, and you're Donald. Yeah, but how did you know that? Congratulations, Sora. You finally found your friend. I'm so happy for you. Gee, there sure are a lot of questions. Nominate, I know this probably won't be easy for you. But could you tell us what happened? Of course. It's my fault after all. I took the people and memories that were inside Sora's heart. And little by little I replaced them with false memories. Hey, what about Sora's promise? Made up. It was fake. Sora never really promised me anything. Me being with him on the islands. That was a lie, just like everything else. We never met. I was never Sora's friend. And you were never anything more, either. No. You see, in all of your true memories, I was never really there. Gee, then that must mean it was your magic that made the rest of us lose our memories, too. Is there any way for us to ever get them back? I can fix everything. If we go to the 13th floor. But, Marluxia, he... Bet I know who that is. Was he the fella who made you tamper with all of our memories? If I didn't obey, he said I'd be locked in this castle forever. I've been alone for so long. So you did what he told you to do because you were lonely? I'm so sorry. Don't be. Please don't cry. Oh. Of course. I know I really don't have the right to. That's not what I meant. What? It's like this. I'm really not happy about you messing with my memories. But... You know, I can't really get mad at you for it either. These memories you gave me. In my head, I know they're lies. But they still feel right. Like the promise I made. I said I would protect you and that I wouldn't make you cry. Not ever. Namine, if you cry now, I'll feel guilty like I let you down. So don't cry. Please. Until I get my memories back, smile and try to be happy. It's easier on me that way. Sora. Oh, 
Oh, brother, that's a bit much. It's okay. Sora always gets like this every time he's around a girl. Aw, uh, cut it out. I thought you both lost your memories, too. <sighs> too bad. Good friends don't forget the good stuff. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there. That's it. That's the nominee I remember. Yeah. I really liked it when you used to smile. Of course, that was really only in my fake memories. But what I'm feeling now definitely isn't fake. It's real. Thank you. Well then, let's go. Oh boy! I can't wait to get my memory back! Nominee? Marluxia is gonna be up there, so maybe you'd better stay down here. Yeah. Maybe you could look after Riku? We'll come get you when it's over. Okay. Please be careful, Sora. I'll be okay. I promise. Okay. Oblivion Keyblade. Uh, I know I don't want to do any fighting, so I don't need to heal, but... I think... Let's just take a quick look here. Vaccine increases running speed. Yeah. And that's... During 15 cards. It's not really worth it, that's for sure. Yeah. So still thinking back to that thing with Riku. That was just that came out of nowhere because it seems like everything was going so fine. Uh, but yeah, because he was doing heavy damage, then you know got to counter that with slates. So it's just important, you know, use it wisely. Do like I almost say, do slates non-stop, as you saw with Larkseen when I was trying to heal myself. I was trying not to just straight away use a Kiraga, but uh, we're gonna have to re-edit this again, though. I really feel like I should have just made two separate decks, but actually, there is one fight where I'm gonna have to remove those. Um, what is it? Those? <sighs> My thing about the fire spells. For now, <clears throat> oh, wait a second. Dang it, I want to put him there. But yeah, the fight with Arcane did not go too bad. Uh, let's see, I remove this. Something's not gonna have to go though. Okay, I don't need. Oh, that's zero cards, that's for sure. Um. Cure cards, we don't really need that many. And then, yeah, we could take out Vexen as well. It's, I'm not gonna die against the Heartless. Um. I'm trying to see what I'm gonna put here. Okay, now I have room for a bunch of stuff, so. I have to think about what do I want to use though against. Maybe I'll put some thunder in. I don't know. Let's see, Oblivion. Yeah. Well, look at this. There's another cloud card. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll throw him in then. Like, what the heck? Uh jeez. What is that left? 71. Oh, then this will probably be enough. I'll do... This one right here. Because this is actually pretty high. So we have a Thundaga. Let's just see how that does. Otherwise, I might have to get... See if I can get more blizzards. 
Alrighty. So I think there's gonna be a cutscene like right here where we get a um, really special attack. Who was it? Who's most important to me? Nothing. Can't you remember? No, I only remember Naminé. Come on, do you guys remember anything at all? <sighs> well, sorry, Shola. It's important. But I just can't remember. I don't want to be. But I'm getting scared. Then we should really make a promise. Huh? What you said back there kind of got my brain uh, thinking. Whenever you make a promise that's super duper big, maybe it gives you the courage to face the scary stuff. Courage. Yeah, let's do it. Even if we get scared, or in trouble, or even if we get separated. Or even if we sort of forget each other. Whatever happens, we're friends. All the red and red for all. Alright, so Trinity Limit, the ultimate one. It says inflict heavy damage, right, but for a good chunk of Heartless, if you take a little of HP, Trinity Limit just basically eliminates them. Notice that the Keyblade card has to come first. Right. So Keyblade, Donald, and Goofy. Here we are, Castle Oblivion. Just take a good look at the map I'm about to show. This is gonna be insane, but that's it right there. Crazy how they had to make it that big. Alright, I think this wait a second. This is what I don't even know. I think this is the key to rewards, so I want to try to go over there. But this could take a while. All right. Oh, that's right. I could probably put the shadow card back in. Oh, oh gosh. Courage! Power! Alright, the problem with this Deal. is that there's a lot. Like, everyone here is magic resistant yeah. to something. <laughs> Oh boy. So that's why I use Cloud a lot. Wait, I leveled up already? Force! Heal! There! Power! Definitely gonna be getting a lot of levels here, so I'll just do this one first, uh, so that I can just tack on the shadow. Oh, what's this? 
Ooh, cloud seven. How about that? How often I get a cloud from a... Alright, uh... Okay, uh, enough, so... Okay, looks good. Alright, see these Heartless here. Our Neo Shadows. Ah, jeez. Well, if I can get a goofy card. Alright, that's it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I guess they can still be frozen then. Maybe not the blue one, so. Oh, well. Shadows they go underground, but they're way stronger. Yeah, I guess so long. Safe point ones and Let's see if I can get a ball from here and then I'll start opening up rooms. Sorry, I did say I was gonna make 
Oh, fudge. I was gonna make two save points. You know, possibly two Moogle rooms. But, uh... Uh, okay, one more battle will do. Trove after. I'm gonna have to do a save point right here though. Let's see how I want to set this up. Alright, whatever, I'll just do guard trove here. I'll open up a chest and I think we get that. There's like another fire attack. Yeah. Pretty cool. Fire! Fire! 
Thunder! Force! Courage! <clears throat> okay, that was ineffective. Oops. Ooh, that's actually good. I didn't think we could get a multiple one there, but two random jokers. Raging Storm is basically just need arrow. Oh, if I have a bunch of fire cards, I could always swap one for arrow. You know, when it comes to the boss fight, it's not going to matter though if the next one because we'll end up having to fight Axel. I just want to take him on because. Thunder! Ah, dang it. Power. So let's see now. Oh shoot! Let's glide right into that. Uh, could always do three save points. Honestly, I'm just like, we should do a mocha room here, or yeah, maybe mocha room now. You know, there's supposed to be like a couple cutscenes on the way though. Let's just see. But I definitely don't want to have a bunch of heartless rooms. Because ideally, level 50 should be enough. Okay, I probably will need to come back to this room later, but because I don't have like anything for you know, I don't really have that many points. 614, yeah. Although I could still buy one. Ooh, I got a zero card and another one, so. Like though, I'm probably good with just doing three zero cards. But oh, I guess I could sell some cards and then let's just do that first. I'm gonna sell some cards. So I'm trying to get was it 750 total? No, five. Oops. Um, okay, let's see where else. Okay, this, oh, this will do it. All right. So, let's just see what this gives us. Oof, a seven cloud is premium. Hmm. Well, I have to think about that one. I uh, didn't really get much then. I'm thinking now, maybe I'm just gonna do away with this slate. Let's attack on an arrow. Oh shoot, I just had enough. Well, look at that, it's total 27, so that's... That's 
high as it can go. Uh, I have to look at that cloud. That's seven. It's twenty-five. Yeah. Let's just stick with this for now. Okay, I think we'll make this a save point now. Or Marluxia. Oh, brother. Now I'm getting. What is this? A cure? It's just six. Yeah. Just leave it like that. I just I'm really curious to see what that is. So I may make another save point closer. I want to make sure these are small rooms though. Although I feel like I want to make one room with strong initiative, but um, ah, no, I don't want to do mingling worlds. Jeez, what do I want? Alright, we'll start with people. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, it's eight now, so... Make it a sleeping one, I guess. Oh, she's. Yeah, I also want to know what do I need to give for the key to rewards room. So it's probably best that I just go through that right now, and then maybe I'll have to create a roulette room, depending. Okay, so it seems like yep. This room is a dead end, but that leads us. We'll see where it leads us. Ah, oh, dang it, I need a zero. We'll make that one. Oh, it could be a black room then. Actually, let's just see. Alright, it is key to rewards. Then I have no idea then. Maybe this is the one that's really expensive. You know what? I'm just gonna backtrack. I can't. Yeah, I can't go anywhere else. So then. My guess is this is the room that would lead us to there, so we would have to build. Look, what the? One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so we'll have to decide then. Maybe these, one of these two can be. Maybe I'll create strong initiatives somewhere here. And then we'll see after if I need to roll that room. Oh wait, that was over there. Okay, but I'm just gonna go ahead and save it right now. Oh shoot. Ooh, look at that. Nine Tinkerbell. Yeah. 
you have like three Tinkerbell stacked together. Look at that, I got three Tinkerbells on nines. It's pretty good. Um, if I had like a gazillion card points, then you know, I would be totally down for that, but yeah, we'll see. Probably won't be necessary. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be doing much talking throughout this world. It's just because it's so big and so I'm trying to get through this. Uh, but I'll end the episode right here. So thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Got any questions or comments at all that you want to put down? Just, you know, write and type them in the comment section right below. And other than that, I'll see you guys all next time.